Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the uh, torture test is going to continue here on the Unimat SL1000. Um, I got this uh, steel. I think it came from Orchard Supply. I'm not sure. Pa painted red. Uh, not friendly to machine at all. Um, it must be some kind of weldable alloy. I'm not exactly sure of the composition. All I know is it's painted red and uh, it's steel. And um, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, beat on it with this uh, trusty old Unimat. Um, nothing real special about this parting tool. It was uh, constructed from high speed steel and just ground uh, to a uh, yeah, probably about a hundred thousandths inch uh, landing and um, uh, put a 10 degree front rake on it and uh, hopefully it'll get through this uh, piece of steel. Um, now uh, we drop the RPMs down dramatically for a parting operation. Um, it, if this stuff doesn't like to turn steel, it for sure is not going to want to part steel. So, um, you know, we can uh, all wish and wonder and all that good stuff, but all that goes away when you actually do. So, uh, let's get to doing. So, uh, what we did here, uh, like I said before, we dropped the RPMs down. Um, I believe I'm turning 685 RPMs. Don't quote me on that. It might be higher or lower, but uh, that's what I'm deciphering from it. And it sounds that way, but uh, we're going to go without any further ado. this that this tool is just the slightest of low um, I, I would say probably in the order of a thousandth of an inch low and uh, there we go so um, yes you can park unknownium on a unimat lathe does it like it no um, you could probably come at it with more aggressive uh, uh, angles and have better results and stuff. But the uh, point of the matter is, is if you have somewhere around uh, 10 degrees of rake or so, you can um, plunge into the steel. Now, uh, I just have just the, uh, the slightest of hollow. Um, I turn the tool upside down on the grinding wheel and uh, gave it a little bit of uh, uh, backflow so the chip's able to, to roll off of it. Um, like I said, this tool is probably, like I said, a little bit low, but I didn't want to raise it anymore with paper or anything because then it would have been too high and then I'd be doing more rubbing than cutting. So um, you will get a little bit of chatter at the uh, beginning of it. Um, I tried to do it at a lower RPM and it just doesn't want to do it. Higher RPMs would probably part a little bit better but if there's ever an issue or whatever you're going to junk your work and all that. So it appears that uh, on this particular material 685 uh, RPMs was able to uh, part on a unimat. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching this one. <laughs>